Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Capricorn. So if you're a Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Capricorn, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. So, if in this reading, if you're in no contact, no communication with this person, if this person goes to deal, that has left you without any sort of explanation or if there's a separation that has happened here then this reading is going to be for you we are going to do an energy check-in on the person The Emperor. Ooh. Okay. Could be dealing with an Aries here. That's, that's a way of starting the reading. <sighs> okay. Bottom of this deck, we have the Three of Swords here as well. Uh, this feels like someone who's trying to get a grip over their pain. Trying to get a grip over the heartbreak, the pain, the suffering uh, they, they are feeling. This is someone who is trying to not feel the pain. Look, you know, like, uh, because the Emperor is a divine masculine energy or simply it's, it is a... Uh, masculine energy right very dominant strong leadership like masculine energy it's very the emperor is very disciplined the emperor is very practical the emperor has control over his emotions almost because the emperor is not like the empress empress is very sweet nurturing caring a lot of uh, emotions inside but the emperor is very practical and grounded and logical The emperor uh, loves stability and, you know, uh, sort of like having a grip over the reality. That's how the emperor works. The emperor can be a very controlling energy. So this is someone who's trying to gain control over their own emotions, trying to gain control over their own heartbreak, the pain they are feeling. This person could be experiencing a lot of loss, depression, you know, a lot of negative emotions. They're very, very upset and they are just trying to be like... I can get over this. I can get over this. It's not a big deal. I can get over this. Knight of Cups. lot of delays in this connection as well you know just things just don't move forward things just don't move forward it's like you both have been you both have been waiting for some sort of a new beginning here it's almost like you both have been eager or especially this person it's like the delay whatever delay is here this is the reason why this person feels this sort of sadness here hmm. seven of pentacles this is someone who is trying to uh, you know think of long term here this this person is trying to see the long term view here 
is someone who wants to manifest something big. This is what I'm getting with the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to manifest big here. And what they're actually trying to man manifest is that Emperor energy. Because as I said, Emperor is the leader, right? So he has stability. He's a very, very stable individual. He's much more mature as well. That's, Emperor is a very mature energy. Because it's the manifestation of all the four kings, right? So it's a very mature energy. This person is trying to manifest maturity. They are trying to manifest long-term goals here. This person wants to... Okay. This person wants to offer something romantic, a romantic offer. This person wants to bring in a romantic offer or a proposal. That is going to be for the long term. It's not like some short term thing like a short term proposal or a short term offer. Just a romantic offer. The Knight of Cups by all by itself is a romantic offer. But then the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. We have strength here. So yeah, this is going to be a very stable offer. This person is the Emperor and the uh, Strength are very like uh, strong cards. Hence the Strength. Very courageous kind of cards. Very, very uh, powerful cards. This Emperor and the Strength. This person is also trying to, you know, um, follow their heart here. It's almost like with the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, this person wants to be the Knight in the Shining Armor and bring an offer that is going to be long term, that is going to be stable. This is a very practical person. This is someone who's thinking very practical, practically, or it's very possible this is a very practical person you are dealing with. But this is someone who wants to, they have emotions, but they're not going to approach you from just their emotions. They don't want to approach this situation, this connection, just from their emotions. They want to have something solid to offer to you. Yeah, this person is like, yeah, the Ten of Wands is like the end of a very uh, burdensome, very heavy cycle. Someone who has been taking extra work, someone who's working really hard, someone who's taking up extra uh, responsibility, someone who is carrying the burden, someone who's in a lot of stress as well. This this feels like someone who's, who's uh, working very hard on manifesting something here manifesting stability here manifesting a stable connection here being able to offer a stable offer this is what this person is trying to manifest and this is the reason why this person doesn't want to feel this pain this heartbreak because this upset this because deep down this person because the three of swords a lot of pain right and considering we oh look at that this person is feeling emotional loss here. Ace of Cups in reverse and Three of Swords. It is, this is also someone who's putting in so much. This person is putting in a lot of hard work and effort to the point that they could very well be depleted here. Ace of Cups in reverse and Three of Swords. This person is feeling the emotional loss here. This is someone who's experiencing emotional loss. This person definitely needs healing here with the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this person definitely needs some healing. They need to heal this. And the way this person, it's very possible the way this person is trying to heal themselves is by working very, very hard here. This person is also trying to uh, have, a, like, keep a poker face. Like, uh, they don't want to show that deep, deep down this person is feeling this. They want to have that face of the emperor, someone who's practical, someone who's grounded, someone who's focused on their goals, someone who's trying to manifest stability, someone who is disciplined and practical. This is the face they are putting up, but deep down this person is feeling that three of swords here.
just as I said, this person needs healing. We did see the star up right here. Now, oh, and look at that, the Empress. We have the Emperor already here and we have the Empress. This person is feeling your loss here, the star and the Emperor. And since the star did come out in reverse here, this person is feeling your loss. Because you were the feminine energy. You were the one who was, uh, it's almost like you were the one who was providing this healing energy to this person. You are the healer for this person. You are the healer. It's almost like someone, uh, 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 you know, Emperor Empress is the divine counterpart energy. But this is someone like who's missing that feminine energy in their life. Who's missing that caring, nurturing, healing energy in their life. And without you, this person literally feels like despair, insecure, a, a disconnect with, with the divine, with, with the universe, with God, um, with any higher powers that this person believes in. They feel a disconnect here. This heartbreak, this pain that has been, this separation, this disconnect between the both of you has almost made this person stop believing in, it's very possible either this person has stopped believing in universe, God, again, as I said, higher powers, or it is just that this person is, has stopped believing in love almost. Like they're questioning, they're questioning a lot of things here. This person is questioning things. They're questioning even the connection is what I got. Now, I just got the word connection. It's very possible they're questioning the connection with the divine or they're questioning the connection between the both of you here. This connection that you both share. This person is questioning that. This person feels hopeless here. This is someone who feels hopeless deep down. And they are, it's almost like, you see this energy of someone feeling pain, heartbreak, hopelessness. And then we have the emperor and the ten of wands. It's almost like this person is trying to put up a mask, put up, have that poker face and pretend that everything is fi fine when deep down this person is just unraveling. And it's very hard for this person to have that poker face. It's very hard for this person to pretend that everything is fine. Everything is good. I'm, I'm fine. Things are good. Even if this person is uh, putting th their everything um into their work into their business job um securing their bag it's it's almost like they they still feel this disconnect this they don't feel good inside what i'm getting here is someone who is doing what's needed to be done someone who has some daily chores you know we all we live in the 3d we have to have a job and do our daily chores so someone who is doing that daily chore someone who's doing their job someone who's focused on their work securing their bag and everything they're doing it but it's almost like inside this person is disconnected from everyone and everything they feel disconnected from their own heart this is someone who's dissociating from their own feelings from their own emotional body We have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck here. This could be a very spiritual connection. And I noticed here, bottom of this deck, we have intuition, telepathy, inner knowing, heart song. And the high priestess does talk about intuition. So uh, it's very possible that you, again, this is a very telepathic kind of a connection between the both of you. This is a very telepathic connection. You both are connected to each other. You both are feeling each other's energy here. Songs could mean something like particular songs could come up randomly, suddenly, uh, and, and they just make sense. And this, this might not be just your energy. This might be like energy is never fixed, right? There's no structure in energy. So this could be your energy. This could be this person's energy. It could be both of your energy that certain songs are coming up. Certain songs are popping up that just make sense. And that is making this person deep down miss you more, think about you more. Feel this pain, this loss more. This is someone who feels very discouraged deep down inside. It's almost like they are trying to do everything to to do the 3D stuff, but it's inside they, they are numb. I got the word numb. They are feeling numb here. We could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer because the bottom of the deck we are the High Priestess. The 
moon. As I just said, Pisces or Cancer. Yeah, you could be dealing with Pisces or Cancer here. Fear, anxiety. The moon represents our shadow side, right? For some of you, uh, this person's shadow side is very activated right now. So whatever fear, whatever insecurities, whatever subconscious... What's the term I'm looking for? Um, beliefs, right? Subconscious beliefs, subconscious... Uh, really, when I just start reading cards, I forget half of the words. Uh, subconscious beliefs, subconscious patterns. That's what is coming up for, for this person here. This is a very telepathic kind of a connection here. You both could be dreaming about each other as well. But yeah, this person is just, they are very fearful here. It's almost like this person is fearful of, they will, uh, they will never be able to approach you with the Knight of Cups and the Moon here. They will never be able to approach you. You will never accept their offer anymore. The charm is gone between the both of you. You know, like all that go good stuff between the both of you, the romantic stuff, the good stuff, the the good thing between the both of you, the good vibe between the both of you. It's just lost. Not to mention this person is, you know, as I said, they're trying to follow their heart. They're trying to listen to this is someone who's trying to listen to their intuition even, I feel. But they are just, they, they just can't rely on it. They can't believe in it. They can't rely on it. They're feeling all over the place. You know, it's almost like someone who's even doubting their intuition because even if their intuition is telling them something, you know, it's like this person is finding it very difficult to accept that intuition because you could very well be dealing with the emperor here. As I said, emperor is a very practical person, right? Very grounded, someone who's very um, stubborn. The emperor does have a lot of stubbornness, a lot of ego and pride. So it's very difficult for this person to actually listen to their intuition and follow their intuition, follow their heart. Because what I'm getting here is this person almost like their, their heart or their intuition is almost telling them to make a move here with the Knight of Cups. Make a move, make a move. Do something. But it's like this person is their fears, their insecurities, their subconscious beliefs. Their ego, their pride is almost like making them question this intuition. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe I'm just hopelessly being romantic here. I need to stop daydreaming. I need to stop romanticizing. I need to be practical. This is someone who's having a... Almost like this kind of battle with their own heart or with their intuition. This person does have romantic feelings for you with the Knight of Cups. <laughs> Knight of Wands wanted to come out. Yeah, this is someone who wants to make a move here. They want to do something. They want to make a move. But this person is like stability, stability, stability. Look at that. Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, Eight of cups in reverse and literally the word here the key word here is trying one more time this is someone who really wants to try one more time they really want to do this but this person is so scared so afraid of coming towards you of making a move towards you because they can't walk away now it's very possible this person is also fearing that they can't walk away it's their problem you have walked away already we are going to see how this person is uh, viewing you or thinking about you. But this person is literally thinking they are the ones who can't walk away. What if you have already walked away? What if it's just them that are stuck? This person is thinking a lot. But that Ace of Swords, Four of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is already someone. Look at that. This is someone who is contemplating and thinking and wondering and then thinking some more. And with the Ace of Swords, it's like... This person knows what they want. Ace of Swords is mental clarity. Four of Wands is stability. Four of Wands is joy. Four of Wands is celebration. A stable uh, foundation. 
So this person knows what they want, but they are doubting it. It's just that this person can't stop doubting themselves. They are doubting their intuition. They are doubting their heart even. And in the process of doubting their heart, this person is breaking their heart every time. Like every single time their intuition is telling them something, guiding them, or their heart really wants to do something here. Their ego, their pride, their, their mind, that monkey mind almost. It's like rejecting that. No, no, no. You are over-imagining. You are overthinking. You are being delusional here. I'm going to keep this here. Okay. Yeah, the hangman is again intuition. The hangman is, is being able to see things from a different perspective. But here's the thing, the hangman, if you keep if you keep listening too much, sorry, if you keep thinking too much, you will just keep being stuck thinking and thinking and then thinking some more. You need to take some action. Yeah, judgment in reverse this person is doubting they're doubting themselves this person is doubting their intuition they're doubting the fact that whether you, whether you are even there anymore or, the, or whether you have already left and it's almost like if this person comes towards you approaches you and they find out that you have already left then it's going to be such a huge blow to their pride and ego that this person will not be able to take handle that rejection this is someone who has issue with their uh, pride and ego. <laughs> yeah, three of cups up, right, is celebration again, reunion, coming together, um, feeling happy again celebrating and having good times again because this is literally uh, th three people celebrating and having a good time right so this is like having a good time celebration feeling good again reunion but this is like this person again doubting it this person is spending even time alone because we did have the hangman trying to come come out a couple of times and then with the three of cups in reverse. This person isn't even socializing that much that they are have they have this tunnel vision and they're just working, 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 working. Because again, anytime this person is not working, they just end up thinking about you. They just end up end up thinking about uh, you know doing something here, making a move here. They just end up thinking that. It's just like the default. And yeah. As I said, king of swords. This is someone who's constantly making the head over heart decision. So either this person is working. Sorry. They, they are just working. They're just working constantly. Even if they don't want to, even if they're overburdened, even if they're exhausted and need a break, this person just keeps working. Because that makes sense. That is practical, right? If you can hear the crow, that's a confirmation. Generally, crows never call during this time. I generally uh, record my videos in the middle of the night. It's 2 a.m. right now. And the crows come around 4 or 4.30 a.m. Yeah, that, that was pretty unexpected and it's gone. It's gone. That that was a confirmation by the way.
four of swords. Oh my gosh, this person just, they, they just can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop dreaming about you as well. You are literally talking to this person in their dreams. They're, you both could be astral traveling a lot. And I just noticed this. Uh, I, I keep dreaming about you every night. Why won't you stop haunting me? This was at the bottom of the deck. I pre-shuffle all my decks before starting the reading. So yeah, this was at the bottom of the deck. This person just keeps, keeps dreaming about you. And this is the reason why they that is the reason why this person is working so hard because every time they go to take rest or go to take go go sleep try sleeping they just constantly keep remind they 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 are reminded of you even if they don't want to this person is not doing this consciously in fact consciously this person is trying to push you away Yes, yeah, solitude again. The keyword here is solitude. Yes, selenite wanders everywhere. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. They really, really look at that. Knight of Cups and Ace of Cups. And in between, we have the moon here. This is a romantic offer. This is someone offering you their cup of love. Look at that. On the, in, uh, when I get too excited, I can't talk. In the knight's hand, we have the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Cups here. This is double confirmation that this person really wants to bring that offer towards you. But then we have the moon here. Anxiety, fear, subconscious mind, that, uh, you know, the monkey mind playing games here. We have two, we have two aces here. And the knight of cups. They really want to offer you and the Knight of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Libra here. Now, for some of you, it's very possible. Again, take it only if this part resonates. And whatever, whatever I'm getting, I'm going to say it. Uh, it's very possible either this person has gone through some sort of legal situation in the past like divorce or something like that they have already been divorced they have already gone through a legal situation um, be because of which this person is like sort of they are fearful they're fearful about having this four of wands home domestic happiness that's what they are uh, afraid of this very well could be again something that happened in the childhood because of which they they um, they have difficulty believing that this four of wands is possible here. Not to mention justice is honest. This is honesty. This is truth. And look at that ace of swords again. That sword. And on the justice we have a sword in her hand. Truth, clarity. Equal give and take with the justice. <laughs> this person literally feels like, yeah, no wonder. This person might think that you see them as some sort of a fraud, a dishonest person. You don't trust them. Basically, you don't trust them at all. Page of Swords. Mm. 
knight, sorry, I don't know why I said knight of wands, king of wands. Well, this person sees you as someone who is like, you, you already, you like almost are anticipating, you are anticipating a message, a text, a communication from this person. That is how this person thinks about you or views you. It's almost like this person feels like you are, you know, you all, all, almost, you already have a lot of information about them. This person might be also suspecting that you are stalking them. Now, I'm not saying you are. This is how this person is thinking. They might feel like you, you are already stalking them. Not to mention what I'm getting here is this person thinks that you already know that they, that they are not really doing well here. You know, like emotionally, this person is not doing well. What I'm also getting here is the reason this person is trying to keep the po poker face is because they do not really want you to find out that you are they are in pain. They don't want you to find out that they are in pain. They don't want you to find out that they are heartbroken. They don't want you to find out. So they are being very strategic here. <laughs> the Knight of Wands did come out. They see you as someone who's very career focused right now. You're very focused on your career. You are, you are, you know, you are being passionate. You are being energetic. You are l learning new things here. You are strategizing about your career. You have big plans and you are busy achieving that. No wonder this person thinks that you are not interested in them at all. Not to mention this person might also think that you have multiple people wanting your attention. Like you, you, this was an ending. Look at that Empress again. This was an ending. And this was a painful ending, but you were letting go of that pain and you were manifesting new things here with the Empress. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but you are manifesting new things here. You're not, you're not busy wondering and thinking about what this person is, uh, if this person will be back or not. You're not busy thinking about that. You have other things you are busy with. They know that you know a lot of things about them. But you are not showing them. It's almost like this person feels like even you have this poker face. Even you are showing that you have no interest in them. But in reality, you are very interested in them. So again, I'm not saying any of those things. This is how this person thinks it. So don't come at me in the comment section. This person really thinks that even you have a poker face. Why do I feel like this person really feels like you both are stalking each other? And look at that, that. This is mirroring emperor and empress. This person feels like you are hiding the pain that they have caused you and they are hiding the pain as well. It's like who can have, who can hold that poker face for long? Who's the one who's going to be, uh, who's the one who's going to break here? It's like this person saying, I'm not going to break. And then they see you as someone like you are not breaking either. So now you both are just, okay, this is a mess. This person's head is a mess. This is you both mirroring each other. Yeah, this person thinks you are holding back on purpose. You're showing that you are doing good. You are looking, you are fo focused on your glow. <laughs> Look at that. Holding on, obsessing, spying. Someone is yearning at, on desiring you. This connection can withstand more than you think. Something is happening sooner than you expect. Sometimes time is the best medicine. Yeah, you both need to heal. A decision is being made about this connection. You both need to heal here. Yeah, there is a foundation of friendship and loyalty. Three of Cups talks about friendship here. So if you had a very like, you know, you both were very good friends to each other, then this person really misses it. I want to see what's at the bottom of the deck. I wish I had been more accepting and loving towards you as you are. Yeah, more open towards you, basically. That's what it means. More receptive, more more open, not, not the emperor, very cold and detached, very practical, very grounded.
I wish I'd been, I had been more vulnerable and open with you about my fears. Yeah, this person does have some deep-seated fears. See, I want to change and stop letting my toxic patterns ruin the love between us. And I'm sorry about the dog suddenly. I regret not being able to see how much you are hurting. What else? Okay. It is extremely difficult for me to close the door on my past. I'm sorry. Yeah, as I said, something happened in this person's past here. Sorry for hurting your feelings. I can feel you being mad at me even with all this distance. Can we just stop arguing? I'm not going to take that. You make me feel happy, protected and comfortable. Yes, you're the Empress. Of course you do. Yeah, you both can feel each other's energy here. You just want me to chase you, don't you? Yeah, this is like this person thinking that the reason you have this poker face or the reason you're not showing anything here is because you want them to chase you. You're definitely dealing with someone who overthinks a lot. I'm sorry about the, all the lies and manipulation. Liar, liar, liar. Sometimes I have to look over my shoulders because I can feel you sitting right next to me. This person really misses your presence here. Look at that. Working my you-know-what off makes me forget you. This is what, exactly what I said. Oh, that's something. take that yeah look at that knight of cups and three of cups we already have the knight of cups here this person will make an offer because they really want this reunion they're manifesting this look at that look at that the magician nine of cups lovers gemini energy gemini virgo energy yeah this is a strong connection this is too strong of a connection to deny it they can't deny the kind of happiness they felt with you this person is literally manifesting this reunion here. One way or the other. This person is going to end up manifesting it. Because the magician is master manifester. The emperor is master manifester. Both can strategize and manifest whatever they want. This person is going to manifest this reunion here. And this is an offer. The knight of cups is a romantic offer. They feel a strong connection. Can't deny it. Well, that's your reading, um, Capricorn. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.